Um, first thing I always suggest is I know you guys are selling these things to customers, right? And it's their responsibility to wash them and clean them, and bring them back. The um, reason why you guys got a glass rinser here, I always suggest that you hit the glass rinser and just rinse the bottle out. If you look closely, you'll see that the stream has actually hit the bottom of the glass. Uh, you don't want to leave any detergents or sanitizers inside the glass itself because if you do, of course, it's going to affect the taste of the beer. You don't want them tasting detergents because they're not going to come back and they're not going to buy the same beer. Okay? So what we're going to do is, this is adjustable. Anything that can fit up in this little cone, you can fill. All right, these growlers, when you put it in here, you're just going to slide it right in. You're going to take this handle, this adjustment handle, and lock it into place. It doesn't need to be over tightened. It doesn't need to be, you don't need to muscle it just until it's nice and snug so that you have an airtight fit. Always make sure you close this. The reason why this is here, the reason why it locks in place is in case you ever have bad glass or maybe somebody cracks it when they're washing it, it's a containment zone. Well, I think we've had, what, maybe mark two or three that we know of throughout the country right now um, that we've dealt with that have, that have burst um, under pressure. So that's why this is here. So always make sure you do that. This right here is a little drain valve, a little vent valve. You always want to make sure it's closed when you get started. You're going to push back on this handle. When I push back, you're going to hear the CO2 fill the bottle. All right, once the bottle's full, you'll actually hear the CO2 stop. It's not real loud. You want to, so right now we've got CO2 all inside the bottle. So we want to open it up, drain the oxygen out. Okay, so CO2 actually weighs more than oxygen, so it's going to the bottom of the bottle and it's pushing it out. You want to do it a second time, you're filling it back up. You're going to purge it again. All right, I like to do it three times. The third time, you're going to push it. So right now it's full of nothing but CO2, the oxygen's gone. Okay, we're going to select our product. You got one, two, three, and four. They match up with your faucets here. So whatever products you have in here, product number one, you're going to open up the valve for product number one. We're going to open up the handle for dispense. The reason why you don't see any, any product going inside the bottle right now is because it's under counter pressure. There's 12 to 14 pounds of pressure in this bottle. So you're going to slowly but surely open up this valve and you're allowing <coughs> the CO2 to escape out. As it's escaping, you see the product start to fill in the bottle. Now you That's just because if they're, those drains are tied in together. Now you see the fill line now? It, it is, but it's much better this time. Well, yeah, and once it's dark out, well, I mean, like once you don't have so much light in here, this light in the back is basically designed to help illuminate that so you can see that fill line when you're filling it. Right, so do you see the fill line now? Mm -hmm. Do you see how there's like barely any foam? Alright, so I believe we're full now. So we're going to shut it off. I believe the beer is going to be right about at that fill line. So we shut off the product, right? And we're going to open this up to drain any excess pressure. You're not going to get a lot of runoff. You're going to get a little bit. You're going to get a little bit, and that's because the CO2 is trying to push out of the beer. Up there where all that, where all that foam is. You always want to have, you hand me one of them caps there, Billy. You always want to make sure you have your cap handy. <coughs> we open it up, let all the excess foam go. Remember, we're always going to make sure that when we open this up, we want to open it with this door locked because you're going to get a little bit of mild spray back, nothing like we did last time. You can open it up, get a little pop, pull it out, cap the foam. No oxygen ever touches the beer, you lock it down. 
You can see that it's right at about the fill line right there. It's going to settle a little bit. It's going to be just above the fill line. This is good for 90 days.